Hey guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Diva Monet, and today's video is a Halloween inspired look that I hope you guys are able to follow along and recreate at home. As you guys know, October is now here. This is our first week of October, at least for you guys when you're watching this. For me, October doesn't start until tomorrow, but you know, we're going to get we're going to start getting early with the Halloween festivities and everything, you know, get all in the spooky season. As you guys can see, I am in my spooky season attire, you know, for, you know, I'm in my Halloween attire already and I'm ready. I'm ready for candy. I'm ready for Halloween looks. So this is what I'm bringing you guys here today. This is a Halloween look. I hope you guys are able to follow at home with me as well. Stop. If you want to follow me and all my adventures and quirky situations I tend to get myself into, if you guys want to go ahead and stalk my social media, all of it's down below, as well as go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button to follow me in my quirky ways. I don't know why I'm talking so much, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into this video. Alright, you guys know that I usually like to skip through this part, but for once, I'm actually just going to go with you guys through the flow. I'm going to show you guys what I use for my foundation and concealer. So, let's get into that. Okay, to start off with foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in shade Coconut. And I'm going to be using that across my entire face. And I'll be using a spongy to apply that to my entire face. Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girls Pro Concealer. In both a dark and a light shade, you know, just to get some highlight areas. And, yeah, to contour my cheeks and everything. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to go off and start with my eyebrows first. So we can get those done and out of the way. You guys know I use the Brow Stylizer from Benefit. And I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to brush them out and fill them in. Okay, so these are all filled in. Now I'm going to actually do something different. And I'm going to go in with some concealer to just shape these eyebrows out to make sure they have a definite shape to them. Okay, so with... Wow. Okay. <laughs> I look angry. Hmm. I look really angry. Okay, so now that that's on, we're just going to blend this out. Alright, so now we're going into the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Concealer as a primer for my eyes. Just to make sure that all the colors come off as vibrant. This is actually a tip for those of my dark skin lovelies out there. Using a lighter concealer on your eyes will actually make your eyeshadow pop. Okay, so now that the eyebrows are done, we're going to start off with the eyeshadow. Okay, so for the eyeshadow today, I'm going into the Rocky Nudes from Maybelline as well as the California Love Palette from ColourPop. Okay, so now that we have the primer on, I'm going to go in with the Rocky Nudes from Maybelline. And we're going to go into this deep purple color right here. And we're going to blend this into the silver color. And this is going to go right onto the top of our lid. I'm going to dive in with this flat fluffy brush right here. And we're going to go ahead and pick up some of this black color right here. Only on one side though. And we're going to pack this in right into our outer corner right there. Make sure you keep it semi onto the lid. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit out into the temple area. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead into the California Love Palette right here. And we're going to go ahead and pick up Cruisin'. And this is going to go into our upper brow bone area as a highlight. Just like that, we're going to just have it around following the arch of our eye. Why did it look like eyeshadow? We're going to have it. Good job, me. We're going to have that gold color following the arch of our eyeshadow. Ah! I can't say eyebrow. We're going to go ahead and let that gold shade follow the curve of our of our eyebrow wow that was so hard to say eyebrow i can't speak english we all, we already know this i can't speak english but we're gonna try our best <laughs> this is what the upper lid's gonna look like okay so now i'm gonna go back in with some concealer and i'm just gonna put a little bit of it onto our inner corner onto our lid this is going to give us a nice cut crease just onto the inner corner of our eye. Okay, so when that dries, we're going to go ahead into the California Love Palette. So we're going to go ahead and dive into Sequoia right here, this bright orange color. And I'm going to pick up a flat head brush and we're going to try and pick up as much as we can of this shade. 
and we're going to go ahead and pack it into our inner corner to get that beautiful orange shade. And for those of you who have hooded eyes like I do, I like to go ahead a little bit above the eye crease just so when your eyes open all the way, it doesn't smudge into the gray color and get all muddy. This is what it looks like right now. We're going to go into the Rocky Nudes once again. And we're going to take this beautiful black shimmer shade right here. And we're actually going to just take our finger and dive right into that black shade. Pick up as much as you can. And this is going to go into our outer corner where we had that black color at. And now we're going to go back into California Love and we're going to go in with the flat head and pick up El Capitan right here. And we're going to apply this right onto exactly where we had our orange shade at. And blend it out into the black. We're going to go into cruising again and we're going to pick that up to put into our inner corner to add a little bit of highlight to that inner corner. And finally, we're going back into the Rocky Nudes and we're going to pick up this black shade once again and we're going to drag this out our lower lash line and that's the finished eyeshadow I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to go ahead and recreate this eye onto our opposite eye and yeah I'll be right back there alright so now we got both eyes done I'm going to go in with the mascara I'm going in with the great lashes from Maybelline wow once again there's a lot of Maybelline in this video I'm going with the Great Lashes from Maybelline. I'm going in for both top and bottom eyelashes. Okay, so now that eyelashes are done, we are going in with the Duminizer Illuminizing Set in the shade Betty. And I'm going to be using this onto my cheeks as a highlighter. For the lips, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipstick in shade Eerie Onyx. And I'm going to give myself an outline of my lips in this black shade. Okay, and now that this is on, I'm going in with this Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Orange Gina. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips. Okay, so this is the completed look. I'm going to go ahead and with Rose Water Setting Spray from Wet n Wild. <laughs> and this is the completed look. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I certainly enjoyed making this video. I certainly enjoyed trying out a different style and a different look. And I hope you guys will enjoy the same thing. Let me know if you guys recreate this by tagging me in all my social media. You know, my social media all down below. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter are all down below. Hit that big red subscribe button down below as well as hit that like button to help boost this channel. And while you guys are at it down there, comment down below what are you guys doing this Halloween? Are you guys actually having a Halloween or are you guys just going to do something at home? I want to know. Start a conversation down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!